Alrighty guys, welcome back. Today we're currently back out here in the shop uh, taking a look at the Fummins uh, High Boy here, not the OBS. The Fummins OBS is parked back out uh, in the back parking lot. But yeah, I've been spending today pretty much cleaning up, uh, cleaning up this part of the shop here. And I just thought I'd come in here and show you guys where the murder ram is uh, currently parked. So we're just keeping it here for now because there's a property a little bit down the road where we can go ahead and rip this thing for a YouTube video. Me and another YouTuber are going to collab with it. Uh, the other YouTuber owns it, but since I did the wheels and he thinks I'm pretty cool, he said we can uh, collab soon and go up the property and go rip this thing down dirt roads and stuff and just have a fun time with it. And... Uh, Everything we break, we can take back here and fix, right? So, yeah, today's just kind of, uh, you know, cleaning up the shop, but what are we going to do today? Let's go ahead and try and figure something out. So, for the past month or so, so, I mean, this is going to be a pretty big purchase, you know. I've been trying to get, like, taxes and everything out of the way, you know, the usual. Before I go ahead and make a big purchase like this, uh, so, yeah, today we're going to go ahead and try to check out a car. Or let's just go ahead and see where it's at. Let's hop in the Fummins OBS here. I'll tell you guys a little bit about it. Uh, if you guys did not already tell from the thumbnail and title, it is a Ferrari. And those things are not usually cheap. That's why I've been waiting a little over a month to get everything all my money situated. And then now, uh, we should just be able to... I mean, just right now, I'm going to go ahead and run up and look at it. But I believe today we might be able to buy this this Ferrari. I don't really know yet. Uh, it, it's going to be pretty crazy. So, it is going to be something new and different. Because I've owned fast cars. Just, uh, it's not a Ferrari. You know, so this is our turn here. Come on, car. This is not a slow Fummins. I'll tell you that much. Man, I love that first gen that's parked there. Probably because that was one of the first trucks we sold off the off the new property, off the new shop. Oh man, love I miss those days. All right, well, where we're headed is uh, a business actually. So it's someone's business. I don't even. I think it's like a oh, what would it be called? Um, it's like a realtor building, but it's also this guy's house. So he does. I don't know it's it's a pretty big building, but all he uses just the main office. And got to slow down because that car is doing a turn there. And I'm doing my turn here. So let's just go ahead and park back. I gotta figure out where to park this, this big old thing here. Alright, now here we are. So let's go ahead and take a look at our soon at soon to be our Ferrari. So here's the realtor building, and I think he actually just lives back there. But I don't really know, because he only uses the front main office, and I think there's something else right there. But, yeah, I've been seeing, I've been, you know, cruise. I mean, there's a dead end down that road, so I've been kind of, like, creeping, but not on purpose. You know, I've been just driving by, and then I turn around, and then I go back, and then I slow roll by here, because I saw this dude had his Ferrari parked out here. And I knew this was his uh, business slash house. I mean, hey, if you owned a Ferrari, why wouldn't you drive it to work every day? Yeah, so I hit him up about it, and he said he'd be willing to sell it. I believe this might be his other car here. So, I'm going to go inside and talk to him about it. Just have a little chit-chat about it. Everything is wrong with it. Which I don't think there's anything wrong with it. But we never discussed a price, and I know he's probably not going to go too low with this thing. He only got it two years ago. So, I'll catch you guys as soon as I'm done talking to him. Alright, now, the price of this thing is borderline outrageous. So... You know, I still want to buy it just because it's here. And he said I might be able to talk him down, but I need to. he needs to see that amount of cash first. I'm like, you know, that's a little weird. So he wants the 35 grand for it. And I'm like, you know what, that's not that bad. So I'm going to go get the 35 grand, show him it, and then I'm going to try to talk him down to at least 30. At least 30. Because, heck, I got the Fummins OBS for 25. So Ferrari for 35, possibly 30. It's not bad at all. So I'm gonna run back, get some money, and that's kind of what we're doing now. And then I'll come back, talk to him, show him the money, whatnot, discuss the price. And then I'll pick up the camera again and get you guys involved. 
whenever, oh wait, hold on, I have the money at the house, hold on, let me do a little turn around here at my buddy's house, which I built that truck for him, but that was still when I just started the business, and I was still getting the hang of things, and so, he paid for it, that one, I converted to a six door, OBS, and did a little lift wheels and tires for him as a gift for his birthday, because that was when business was booming every winter time. Not too sure why. Probably a number of different reasons. Uh, mainly wrecked cars need to get fixed. That's that's when the dealership gets uh, thrives is during the winter. You know, all it takes is a solid set of wheels and tires. I can't remember a winter where I wrecked. So I don't really know. But I'm gonna run inside get some money, and then head back, discuss it with the guy and. Hopefully have a Ferrari here tonight. So I'll catch you guys when I get the money. Money is in hand. Look at all these beautiful trucks. Guys, head up to the uh, DRTV dealership. Alrighty, guys. In town. Highway 5. Go ahead and go ahead and pick up a truck. Alright, guys. We got plenty of trucks on uh, display out there. You can pick up any of them here right now today or any day that they're still out there. But we have this beautiful OBS Suburban I need sold this truck. I don't use very much this one. I just bought and this 6 -0 I'd like to get rid of so we got plenty of trucks here on this property Which you can't just come here and buy you guys need to buy out those trucks first before I put these one up These ones up on the market outside for you guys to be able to buy So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and catch you guys as soon as I'm at the place And yeah, I'll catch you guys with that All right, we're currently rolling up here So, here's our soon-to-be our Ferrari. Have the money in hand. I'm gonna go ahead and talk to the guy. Catch you guys with that. Alrighty, guys. Thirty grand later, and well, how am I gonna get this Ferrari home? Think I'm gonna drive it home. But first, we need to go for a little test ride. Oh, uh, you know it's not that long of a walk. It really isn't. But I don't really want to walk all the way from my house. I also have. I also have uh, one of my buddies, my buddy Joe, that works at the dealership. I'll have him come pick me up. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. So, yeah, I'm going to have him come pick me up once I deliver this back at the house. Gosh, this far is quick. But look at this interior. It's like a spaceship. There's, I remember, like, in Lambos and Ferraris, because I've never owned one or been in one, everyone always said pretty much, like, there's, like, no entertainment center. And I believe it. I don't really see one in here, but oh well, I mean, listen to this thing, and it's also fast, too. So I'm going to go and run this thing home, I'm going to call my buddy Joe up to give me a ride back to the place, then I can hop into Fummins OBS, take her back up to the shop, because that's where I always keep it parked, in case I need to tow something back, or go get it, go get something, and yeah, so, right now, we're going to try to run at least 180 home. I don't know, this thing has like 250 on the speedometer. Alright, we're flying now. And let's whip this turn here. I now own a Ferrari. It's pretty crazy if you think about it. And, well, I'm going to go ahead and park it somewhere special. So I'm going to park it here for now. I'm going to get my buddy, Joe or anyone working at the shop right now to go ahead and come pick me up to go grab my Fummins because that's a little bit of a long walk if I start walking now I'll get there in 20 minutes so yep I'll catch you guys as soon as I get the Fummins OBS and we're back at the shop alright so we're back at the shop now got the Fummins OBS parked behind the uh, the shop here and my buddy Joe told me that I had to go look inside the shop at what they're looking on uh, what they're not looking on what they've been working on and uh, so I think I need to show you guys that in a moment because I don't know what it is yet. But look at this. Look at this Boss 429 Mustang. It's like a 67. Oh, super nice. Look at this thing. They also been working on this today. Why is it always they get the coolest cars and trucks whenever I'm not here? I don't know. But... I think I need to go ahead and go inside and take a peek at what they've been working on that's so outrageous. Let's find out together. 
Oh boy. Your old Prius. What, is, what have they done to this Prius? So, visibly, wheels and tires, exhaust, splitter, lowering kit, wide winding kit, spoiler. This thing looks uh, a little silly, but hey, they paid us to do it, so, so we did it. But I'm more worried about the Poss 429 over here. Would you look at this puppy? Man. Oh, I wish I could take this for a spin, but, you know. Maybe if the owner will let us next video. So make sure you guys do subscribe and hit that notification bell if you want to see me drive this or the Prius in there next video. But yeah, with that, guys, thanks so much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you're new and you have not already. And with that, thanks so much for watching. And with that, I'll catch you guys very soon in the next one.